Hi, it's me again. Yes, you know, a good parent will want more for their children than what they've had. They want them to have an education. They don't take advantage of their children. That's a good parent. Bad parents, well, they take advantage of their children. They butt into their lives, ruin their lives. In fact, they even shorten their lives. Bad parents. So who's a bad parent? Who's a bad grandmother? I don't think I need to tell you if you've heard my other videos. I mean, I even have idiots banging on the wall who get paid by that woman. Because evidently, the things I've been telling are all true. That I don't even get hot water in this motel anymore. And they were supposed to have changed the sheets, but they didn't. So, you know, I'm not going to have them change the sheets anymore. Because I don't think they're going to do it anyway. It doesn't bother me. This is my last month in this motel. And then I'm going to attempt. Uh, I make it difficult for the people she hires to harass me. Oh, yes, and the managers. They all told me, are you going back to New York now? Oh, I'm not going back to New York. What for? It would be cheaper for her to harass me in New York. So, I'm not going back to New York. I mean, she has her family. The ones that, uh, oh God, the things they do to their own children is disgusting. And I'm not going to even get into that. But, they like to cause trouble. And I would marry a woman in New York who's Puerto Rican because she might be part of that family inside organized crime. So be careful, people, because you'll have crazies next door banging on the wall, staying up all night because they don't have to go to work. That's their work to disturb other people. And I guess the management must be in on it because, Jesus, how did my phone go missing from my motel room the night before I had a court hearing on the phone? You wonder? I don't. Because I know how sick and deprived these people are in organized crime. They're small-minded. That's why they have to do childish things to upset people, to disturb their sleep. That to give them the services that they paid for. And, you know... In this motel, the water should be 120 degrees at tap, at the last tap, and it's not. The water has been very cold. But like I say, I'm only staying here till the end of the month. Then I'm by myself a tent. And I'm not going to any tent city. No, 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 no. I'm going to hike up and be in the woods privately where these uh, lunatics will have a hard time 
if they want to harass me, well, I guess they're going to have to buy a tent and be next door and make all the noise they want. Let's see if the government is going to do anything about the uh, federal offenses that I've told you about over the internet. Uh, let's see if Tukwila, the city, does anything about a motel who has cold water and uh, gives hot water only at certain times. These are violations. But because they were ordered by a woman who stopped growing intelligently at the age of 14 and doesn't know what love is, well, you can expect that. I mean, she did it to me in New York, but that time it was her cousin, so she didn't have to pay a dime. Now she's got to pay some of the money she's stealing from me from banks that help her. And you want to know something? You people whose money is... No, I'll do it in another video.